And next up, Dimitri Kirev from the University of Texas. <clears throat> uh, he's a PhD candidate, PhD researcher. Yeah. Very good. Hello. Dimitri will talk about uh, graphene-based electronic tattoo technologies for complex electrophysiology. The stage is yours. Everything is working. Feel free to go ahead. Yeah, wonderful. Thank you very much. Thank you, Christoph, for the introduction. And it is really my pleasure uh, to be here. Thank you for inviting me to present my work that we've been doing for the last few years at UT Austin. So the title of my talk is, well, on using graphene tattoos for complex electrophysiology. And Professor Yeo really made my job way easier right now. I don't have to give a long introduction on electrophysiology importance and variables and stuff like that but uh maybe the most the interesting part you know you might have seen in my talk in my the title of my talk is complex electrophysiology and what would i mean by that All right so on one side i really like to refer to this image from the from the review paper All right so on one side you have this uh, sort of i call it direct sensing or direct electrophysiology such as electrocardiogram, electromyogram, electroencephalogram. Right now we do have rather clear direct correlation between these biological signals and you know the sensors and whatever we can do with it. But on the other side, we have some more complex electrophysiology such as cardiovascular, measuring blood pressure, measuring metabolite, metabolite, measuring sweat circulation, lung respiration that is so complex and so difficult to really track it. And uh, on the other hand, we really need this data to be measured continuously, correlated from multiple people who are sick or not sick, to really build up the database, have the predictive algorithm, and to build the preventive care. Because as I highlighted, the cardiovascular problems here and blood pressure, and I'll go into that. Cardiovascular diseases so alone, they contribute to almost 18 million deaths per year in the US only. So this is two population of New York cities per year dying from cardiovascular and blood uh, pressure uh, problems. And they can all be predicted if we had the way of measuring that. But where is the problem? And where is the problem with variables between biology and electronics? And it is the material mismatch. So typically, you know, the biology is soft, elastic, living, evolving, it's organic. And electronics, such we already have a lot of nice electronics around us, but it's still very rigid, hard. It's inorganic and it's static, right? We can't really have well, it's like smartwatch inside of you. Um, and there is a solution. I mean, there are a lot of interesting solutions that people are working on and there is a solution that I call well two-dimensional solutions using 2d materials such as graphene and these graphene let's say uh, devices they are all soft elastic many of them are transparent they're skin conformable as you can see an example of the graphene tattoos which is the base of my talk here they're strong organic they're very thin flexible biocompatible I can talk about it a lot and I'll be happy to answer questions on bio biocompatibility but what's really exciting is these devices are functional. Besides graphene, that is a you know a, a, a highly conductive semi-metal, we have lots of other 2D materials in the family that are being explored right now for physics and maybe even some device applications. But there is a huge uh, gap and huge possibilities to use these two D materials in future bioelectronics. So there are this phosphorine, uh, graphene, silicine, and there are a lot of transition metal decalcogenides, and all of them come with unique properties. Like this PTS2 can be metal and, uh, and semiconductor at the same time. A lot of these are semiconductors. Some are uh, dielectric. So you can build the whole circuits made of 2D materials. But that is more, let's say, looking into the future. And right now, I'll focus on the, well, the graphene tattoos on hand, literally. Um, so these are the pictures uh, of graphene tattoos that we are using. As you can see, they are like, uh, they're on top of the skin. They are going like con conformable with the skin. At the same time, they are electrically conductive, transparent, ultra thin, then unirritative, and they are uh, biocompatible. We make these devices using uh, CVD grown one layer uh, of uh, graphene. So it's not an ink, it's not a big dispersion of the of the graphene inks, it's a CVD grown graphene monolayer. 
uh, that uh, I won't go too much in details of how we make them. There is a really nice QR code you can scan to get to that paper to see 